location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. There's no such thing as a routine car stop. Uh, you know, these guys, they'll fool you as much as they can. It's like anything else. The bad guy is never going to tell you, yeah, here's the gun. I'm a bad guy. That's part of our, our, our routine patrol is to go look for these sort of things to put these criminals away. See this car driving on the yacht? Look at this man here. The Jersey tag up front, a white car. He was driving on this lane like he owned it. What are you making your own lanes now? I've got over here. I couldn't get back there. Pull it over. Back right, pull it over. Anywhere nearby there. Stay in the car. Stay in the car. Stay in the car. Your vehicle? The car boxed me out back there. I wasn't trying to be smart or nothing. It wasn't my fault. Highway 20. Highway 20. Yeah, 4100 parts. Uh, can you run a vehicle, please? With his name on it? No. I just bought with the last of the The guy boxed me up, bro. I wouldn't do it. The guy was back there. Were you turning in there? Do you have any ID on you? No. No driver's license, nothing? No, sir. Step out the car for a minute. Turn around. Right there. Open the door, man. Stay there. Oh, okay. the car. Turn around. Jams Turn around. Like work. You understand English? Oh. You needles on you? No needles at all? You got any ID on you? Yeah. Let me see some ID. I wasn't trying to smile. I was just okay. box me out there. Wasn't no problem. You don't drive down the wrong side of the highway, though. I couldn't get back in. Nobody would let me in. I wouldn't have did it if I came back back then. Walk away from the car. Walk away from the car. Okay. Hey, you know these guys? All right, I seen them too. Slide over, my man. Walk around here. Put your hands on the top of the car, man. Stop that. I think you're back. There's a gun. There's a gun on the uh, in between the seats of the car of the front passenger or driver's side. Looks like a gun real quick. Let me hold on to him and then I'll dig in there. Right there. I'm gonna go check in here. They had a rag on top of it. Looks like a uh, weapon. I'm not sure if it's, yeah, it looks like a real weapon. I'm look <laughs> it's a uh, 380 caliber Italian make model. It looks like it's loaded. I'm not gonna go in digging here. I can't find, let me see if I can find a release button here. Call for a wagon, 4100 Parkside. Uh, all right. Can I get my glasses? No, you can't get anything out of it yet. Highway 20. Highway 20. Give me a wagon, uh, 4100, 4100 Parkside. 4100 Parkside, you're holding a prisoner, sir? That's correct, ma'am. You need to back that officer so I can get him a wagon, 4100 Parkside. Highway 20, two-man car. Okay. Into her cage car. Check the back of the car. I'll let him sit in the back of the car until the wagon comes, all right? Right here? Yeah. All right. Let me check it real quick. I still have that gun there. I'm going to take the magazine. I took the magazine out. I'm going to pull the uh, the, uh, the entire trigger so I can get a, uh, the round to pop out of there. Put them in there if you want. Okay? Yeah. This way, fellas. Uh, 
but I'm looking for a piece to put in here in case the slide slides back down in there again. Okay, we got a nice pen in there. So nothing to fool in there. The slide, I'm gonna check the back seat. Uh, gone so far. I got my reservations on the car. You gotta check the car. The car might be stolen. Okay. You see the whole smash? It's got all smashed in here. And even with a wreck, any kind of key, you can take the whole thing and turns all the way around. It's not supposed to turn. Incorporated. New York. New York. Uh-oh, they brought. Highway 20, thank you, sir. We're gonna be taking everything into uh, West Texas. Can you have a set of numbers, please? We got narcotics. What is this for, sir? Crack cocaine. In the glove so compartment. Vehicle We're still searching. There's about approximately 30, uh, maybe 20 vials of crack, of crack cocaine there. All right, so far we have an uh, automatic weapon loaded. Have about 20 or 25 vials of crack cocaine. There's a possibility that the car might be stolen. There's no record of it yet. But uh, it might have just been stolen. The ignition's punch tampered with. So we have to go inside now, process the paper on the weapon, and possibly try to contact the owner to see if he knows where his vehicle is. You know, the good thing about this job is that when you, when you make an arrest like that, whether it's a gun or a robbery or a theft, it makes your day, you know, it makes you feel good inside. And especially when you tell your partner, it says, yes, we got him. You know, that's a good part about this job. Uh, I thought it was basically just going to be uh, helping people and uh, helping people and arresting the bad guy. But it's much, much more than that. There's so many things, so many things out there people need your help with. You just got to help so many people and you have to prevent problems. We're going to a disturbance house. We got a car in route, but we're a lot closer. 1342 should be over here. Yeah, hear it? I can hear it now. One four. Police. Coming. Got any dogs? Come on in. You have any dogs? No, no, no. Come on in. Check it in. How can I help you? Okay, you don't have to yell now. Tell me why. Who called the police first? I did. How can I help you, man? They want to come from next door. From next door? Yeah, look at this. They did the electric. Okay, show us. Check it in. Okay. Show us where the water's coming from. Okay, let's check it. Let me look at the lead. A lot, a lot of water coming in? I see all the water coming through the wall. When did, well, how long was this going on for? I don't know. So I went next door and I This didn't happen yesterday? No, 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 no. no. Are you Sorry, having problems no. with the people next yeah, door? Oh, yeah, really. well, I kind of thought so. Here's a man. It's the truth. I'm telling the truth. Here's a man. He gets away with everything. That was a nine room house with three bathrooms. And he made 15 moves with six bedrooms. I don't know how he gets away with it. What's his name? And then, you don't live here. This is Richard Jersey. But you can kill me. Richard? Before. Richard. I don't know if you know him. Is he home now? He does. They can't get in touch. They don't give it. You don't know this. It's phone number to nobody. He's got a station wagon out there the whole year. Nobody moves it. We'll take care of that. You know why? Because he's a, he's a between you and me, he's a wise guy. You know, people, you threaten him, he'll blow your ass off. How old is he? Well, he's in his late 40s. Okay. All right, don't get nervous. No, don't get nervous, ma'am. I want to go look in your yard to see exactly where. Yeah, okay, exactly. you got no dogs out there, do you? No. He says it's coming from next door. He's got a leak, from next door. He's got a leak in his bathroom. Who's that property belong to, Richard? That's where it's coming from, his house. Oh, yeah. And the water's coming in over here? Next door, yeah, next door. 
Next door. Why'd you go next door and see yeah, I'm trying to think. see the apartment. Can we get in there? You get sick when you go in there. I swear to God, it's the odor. And let's be sorry, I'll tell you the mess. Okay. Well, I'm going to take care of it, man. There's no use of getting all upset, okay? You call me up, do we call people uh, FIs uh, that don't do nothing about it? Okay, I'm going to go next door and see what I... Nobody's they home, got though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's okay. Here. The woman downstairs here, so I went in here to make sure where the woman's okay. coming from. In the meantime, I'm going to lock your back door. I want you to keep this light off for the time being, okay? Yeah, I'll do that fire. for you. Shall I open it for us? Yes, yeah, sure. Marge! Somebody's here now. Open the door. There you go. Kill that kid. Marge, you help me. He wants to see where the water's coming from. Okay, you know where the water's coming from? Yeah. The apartment? Yeah. Can I come in and look at it? Yeah, the 12 one. Anybody home? Anybody home? Oh, he has no shut off valves here. Looks like he might have kicked it. A strong odor of alcohol in here, too. The owner of this apartment is supposed to be at the ball game. Look at this house. Okay. Look at this house. I'm going to have a cellar see if we can give him a hand. There's a lot of alcohol on hand, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, what a way to live. Jeez. Hey, Alvin. Yeah. Any luck with the shut off valve? I'm going to find it. Let me bring a light down there. No luck with it yet? No. I wonder where the main valve is. Here it is, bud. Yeah, I was looking for the water meter. It was way in the corner. When that plumber comes tonight or in the morning, whatever how he wants to fix it, it's just going to get re-soldered. I don't know if he knows how to do that or not, or if he knows how to do that. When it's all soldered up, just put that one back on and return the other ones back on there. But look at the mess he made. Well, you know Look what at this. It's all off now, yeah. Okay, but just keep that light off in the back room. Oh, yeah, until, until, thank you very, very much. Until it's all dried up, okay? All right. Are yeah. you getting all upset? The other two, hey, I see all up there. But I don't yeah. think you're all stuck with the color where we're going to put it with you. Okay? All right, thank you. Just remember to keep the light off. All right, okay. Uh, that's just a shame for them. The way they gotta live like that. They got a lot of water damage to their uh, apartments, and he's supposed to be the owner of the whole building. As far as I'm concerned, a lot of uh, a lot of violations in there with the plumbing and all that. So they have a lot of uh, a lot of property damage. These are older ladies. He upset the whole house. People next door that have water damage to their house, and he's at the game now. He'll probably be home around three o'clock in the morning, drunk again. But he just takes advantage of the older people. We went over twenty. We're going over 22nd and Jefferson. We got uh, somebody down on You don't want to say nothing? Uh, no, I don't say it. No, I want to say it. Why don't you, why don't you stay put, Sam? Ben. Lay down. Ben. Ben, Ben, lay down. Stay put. Stay put. Stay put. Stay put. He's bleeding, too. He's bleeding Roll good. Roll on your back, though. You get, you get yeah. more air that way. Okay? When they arrived, they found this male laying here on the highway. But uh, appears he don't want to cooperate with the police at this time. 
Supposedly from a few people around, said he had a fight and he got waffled in the back of the head with a baseball bat. We'll let rescue squad take him to the hospital. Fine. See, the only problem baseball bats, see, that can catch up to him later. You're better off letting rescue take him anyway in case he has a head injury or a neck injury or something. Uh, try and make him comfortable when they get here. Who whacks you in the head? Steak man and his brother Fred. Steak man and his brother Fred? Yeah. What'd they do, jump you? Yeah. They just rushed you? Yeah. How do you know these guys? Well, me and his brother got to a little conflict earlier, not too long ago. And, and you beat him? And he wanted to get you back? Yeah. And he came back. And they snuck you? No, they chased me up here. They chased you? Yeah. From where? One where? of them had a bat, the other one had a bottle. It's usually how it is on the weekends, on a warm Friday or Saturday night. Uh, a lot of gunshots, a lot of assaults, a lot of shootings, a lot of stabbings. Night's still early, too. Ben, relax, Ben. That was uh, allegedly a retali retaliation over a prior altercation. Uh, the gentleman that was on the highway said he had a fight earlier with a man named Steakman a couple days ago. And he saw him, they saw him tonight and they chased him down and beat him with baseball bats and bottles. Uh, whether he wants to do anything about it, officers en route over there now to find out. But he's in, he has a pretty good head wound there. A lot of blood, and he's better off with rescue taking him to the hospital. You know, rescue squads, they're all tied up. I'm sure they're busy all over the city. Uh, last six, seven weeks, it's rained on the weekends, and that's, that's our number one helper there, the rain. Not tonight. It's a nice, warm, humid night, and everybody's out. And rescue, they don't have enough rescue squads to handle all this. Approaching Oxford from 17. That's correct. Here it is, baby. 22B, I'll be blowing up. Shirt and the other got a white, one's a bat, 5'11, the other's a Okay, bat four, there were shots fired at police over here, yeah. a detective from yeah. North Central. Yeah. We're looking for a male wearing a yellow shirt, fled south on what street's this here? Yeah. Yellow shirt, yellow shirt. Carlisle. Fled south on Carlisle from the 1400 block of West Jefferson. How did you fire, Chuck? I fired two, he fired uh, three right after, three or four right after the car. Okay. I mean, he, the All right, I'm going to need, uh, I'm going to need a car to block off. Uh, right? Yeah. That's, uh, just give me this. Yeah, and this has got one in the chamber. Okay. What's the description of the other guys, Chuck? The other guy's got a white. There were only two of them. The white passenger, shirt? the guy in the yellow, they took the gun with him. Okay. Sorry, stand by. Okay. Body. As soon as I opened up the car, I, I got out, I see. Because I, I, I passed by. I heard him yell, you know, telling that they got a gun and everything else. So I was just going to slow him down at the light to, to the other guys arrived because I was behind him. I jumped out of the car and said, please, that passenger open fire on me. Shake quicker than you shake The guy wasn't that open fire. The guy in the yellow. The guy in the yellow? He, he ran off with the gun. Which way did they fire at you, Chuck? They fired right from that passenger side car. Yeah, right, right here. All right, this is where you hit, right? 
That's the one for no, the... No, I was I actually... Was, you were just shooting from the house. We didn't take it out. Right, they were in the inside of... Uh, oh, sorry, somebody, you know, somebody covering the house, the yellow, uh, coat or There you go. That's 14... 1439. Yeah, he dropped... He's got his shirt out there. driver. He dropped the shirt. He left the shirt as part of the scene. No. Huh? Okay. 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 He was leaving work. A job came out there looking for a Mercury Cougar that was just stolen point of gun. Okay? He saw the car going, he was going down Jefferson and the car was behind him, okay? And the description of the two guys. He got out of the car, identified himself as police. They fired three shots through the windshield at him. He returned two shots, okay? They fled and they were apprehended in the 1400 block of 15th Street. I don't know the exact location. I think he's getting that. Well, they were in an abandoned house. Uh, we saw where they took their shirt off. And uh, basically, we just followed the broken branches and stuff, went into the house after them. The gun's in the house. We left it in there as part of the uh, crime scene. We don't want to disturb any evidence. The guy got in custody. He's 18. The other male looks to be in his early 20s. So we won't know for sure that we get him identified downtown. Yeah, so sometimes the good guys win one. And there'll be more from the cops at 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. Next up tonight, the chilling case of the Ontario man who embarked on a terrifying crime spree that would end only with his death or capture. Find out what happened in Crime Stories next. <laughs>